It was the 4th of June 1994 when the dames and the damsels wore their costumes for the first time through the streets of Orvieto in a procession initiated by Nicoletta de Angelis. On the eve of Corpus Domini, they paraded up to the Duomo to assist the Vespers. Then, afterwards, they gathered in Piazza del Popolo, accompanied by musicians and the common people, to watch the medieval dance shows, flag wavers, stilt walkers and falconers. The choreography of the women's parade may vary slightly from year to year, but what hasn't changed is the enthusiasm to take part in the event, which was traditionally a procession just for men, in honour of the political and military powers of the medieval town. The women today have their part too, and their parade really evokes the atmosphere of the Corpus Domini festivities during the medieval era, when ladies with their fathers and consorts, who owned land nearby in the feudal system, would arrive in Orvieto to take part in celebrations. Land disputes and wars between families were suspended over these few days, in respect for the Podesta. And there were many religious and recreational events to welcome and honour the lady guests. The people of the town obviously took part in celebrations too, and that's why a happy, joyful group of common people would always gather around the magnificently dressed noble men and women. The women's costumes in the parade have multiplied over the years, and they're created with the same refined art and care for detail as the costumes of the men's procession, displaying the splendid dignity of the noble ladies. Since 1994, the women's procession has taken place every year on the Saturday of Corpus Domini Festival. That's the day before the men's procession. An impressive show along the beautifully decorated streets of Orvieto, in the Duomo and in the square recreating the medieval atmosphere of the town. The parade only lasts a few hours, but, just like the men's procession, it's the result of many long and patient hours of organisation. Preparations begin several weeks before, in the building where the costumes are stored with great care and precision. Attentive dressmakers refresh and iron the clothes, attach the cuffs, frog fasteners and collars, unfold the standards and flags so that everything is perfect to be displayed and worn. Pacini Association organises this celebration. It's made up of a large number of volunteers and managed by a committee which ensures that the rare and valuable costumes are always well kept and in excellent condition. They organise both the men's and women's procession each year, as well as the variety of events surrounding this important festival. And preparations for the 750th anniversary of Corpus Domini are now underway for 2013 and 2014.